Okay, take two on this car. We did a pulley swap. So when you buy these 40 series pulleys from Go Power Sports, they're only set up for about 1500 RPM engagement. We've moved this to like 2200 RPMs and holy did it make it come alive. Way better. Like now Feels in the woods. Like 10 more horsepower is added. Yeah, it's because it's allowing this engine to rev out even further before the belt gets up to the top. So it's engaging higher in the RPMs, allowing you to go higher in the RPMs in the top end, if that makes any sense. So we need to ride this in the woods a couple more laps when we get back. But what we're gonna do, he's gonna, he's got my camera set up. He's gonna top speed run it again. Uh, last video, we got 56 miles an hour. We'll see if that pulley swap did any difference in the top speed. It feels like it did. It feels massive difference. I it's at least the gonna get there faster. I don't know if it will increase the top speed, but it's definitely gonna get there faster. So we're gonna do the top speed run, then take it to the school and do a couple laps around the the, uh, the asphalt. Any better? We gained one mile an hour to 57. We gained four mile an hour coming back up the hill. Oh really, so now it, it keeps keep its momentum up the hill? Yeah. Overall, like I let off quicker than last time and it got up to speed quicker. Okay, so it trimmed time off for sure. Yeah. That's sweet though. That That's like a $30, $40 upgrade and you got that kind of power difference. So now we're gonna take it down to the school, do a couple laps, get the drone, the bird in there. Bird then we'll there. take it around the back track real quick. So let's do it. That thing is freaking sick and it sucks that it's leaving it's one of those builds you're like oh we gotta have money to build the the buggy but oh, it hurts my soul to let this one leave we still have a ported milled head that's coming to this cart 
and a stroker crankshaft and rod. We're gonna make this thing make even more power in the future. We just gotta wait for the customer to bring it back. This thing is freaking amazing. This is my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> Uh, he, he stalled it out because the torque converter hadn't disengaged, but this thing is freaking sick. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go hit the dirt track one more time. It's, oh, like, it's amazing now. It's that freaking That pulley fun. completely changed it. Wait it was till, fun before. In a month when we do the ported and milled head, it's just going to get crazier and crazier. So this freaking Go Power Sports Performance built 420s a hoss. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out those links in the video's description. They do help us out. They tell Go Power Sports that our videos are working and we got the whole axle setup that we used, uh, the whole engine build. All those parts are linked in the video's description. And we do have a video coming out on how to adjust the springs and the weights in these pulleys. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll show you how to pull it apart, how to adjust it, and the differences. We'll do a full test run on all different setups on these front pulleys. But it made this thing come alive. And when the vehicle comes back, because this was a, uh, a customer build, I would have loved to slap. We have a GSXR 600 engine sitting in the garage. We would have loved to slap it on this frame. Uh, but the customer basically didn't want to pay for it. That's a lot of money. So uh, 
just make sure to stay tuned this thing will be back we got a snowmobile engine to use that big gsxr we got a 300 cc liquid cooled atv engine and also a 650 atv engine so a lot of stuff coming some big updates coming so thank you guys for supporting us make sure to go check out our merch rbgcarts.com pick yourself up a shirt a hat and some stickers because uh, that will help us to continue to do these videos we love you guys and god bless